Clinical researchers, I wanted to talk to you about extension studies. I'm here with Monica. How's it going, Monica? Yeah. So we have the CRA Academy interns in the office today, and they brought up something important. They noticed that, and I don't know why none of the previous students noticed this, Monica, there's two protocols with two different numbers. It seems to be the same study, but it's actually one is the open label extension study. So I explained to them that this was a great catch and something that you got to learn when you actually intern. Like this is a perfect example of something that you will just gloss over in class, but you will actually learn when you get your hands on the books. So Monica, what do you, what can you tell us about extension studies? Okay, so extension studies are pretty much the same study. The thing is that in the open label, you guarantee the actual medication to the patient, so it's not longer uh, placebo involved. And uh, this can, this is a, a plus for the uh, clinics because it's, it's great for the business and also for patients. If they like the medication, they will have more time of this medication and, and it's, um, that will act as a... Um, patient um in the recruitment it will be good because the patient will still be participating in a second study so basically monica you're saying this helps with patient retention because if they're in the double blind study you can tell them hey if you are on placebo don't worry because you will be guaranteed the study drug once you get into the open label phase so just continue out as long as it you're feeling safe and everything's safe and your labs and everything is, is uh, coming in okay, according to the doctor and to the patient. Now, this is not to be confused with amendments, protocol amendments, mm -hmm. which occur all the time, which my students were getting confused about. An extension study it, or an open label study is not the same thing as a protocol amendment. Thank you, Monica.